Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We've been on kind of a run of bad form lately. So I think we're gonna do an Azazel run and try to like redeem ourselves. Oh, we're starting with an XL floor right off the bat. Okay, well, maybe that's fine. I mean, that, that does mean that we're gonna get an earlier chance at a deal and uh, an increased chance of a deal on the third floor. So maybe that's okay. Uh, the downside though is that we might be in kind of a tight spot HP-wise, and we might not actually be able to take advantage of said deal. So we'll have to see here. Or we might just get HP from one of our item rooms, and that'll allow us to take a deal. Okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm actually good with that. Get a Fool card. I think I'd rather have the Fool over the Ace of Hearts. We'll definitely take all that. Hopefully be able to find a Tinted Rock at some point and make use of some of those bombs. Sure, we'll take Zodiac. I don't think it's a great item, but I think it could be worse. And I'm not sure what our Zodiac item is right now. It might be Capricorn? No, it's not, because that would increase our damage. Yeah, I don't know. Probably... Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, there's that. Yeah, you keep your stupid... Yeah, there we go. Just roll your head at me. Just keep doing that. Makes you real easy to kill. And more HP. Okay, fine. I I'm good with this. That means more to... Uh, what? Something went a little wacky with my keyboard there for a second. That was strange. I think maybe my finger just slipped or something. Either way, little horn should be easy enough to deal with. There we go. We get polydactyl, which allows us to hold two cards. I'm going to pop the pill after this. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to say no. Because two hearts for what is essentially a speed upgrade just really doesn't seem worth it to me. So I'm going to say no to that. Uh, we are going to check here for a secret room. And we're going to find a bunch of pills. Range down. That's really bad as a Zazel. So our range is not great. And then I guess, uh, you know what? Let's let's go. Let's just get out of here. Let's not spend a, billion, a ton of time on this floor. We don't really need HP that badly. We're going to check here for a secret room as well. And then we're just, we're going to go. I'm not going to spend money on that. Let's just move on. All right. So it was an okay first floor. I mean, we didn't really get anything good, but we did get HP. So we have two red hearts. And it was fast. So that counts for something, I think. But we're going to need windows. Now is, now is not a good time, please. Okay, there's all that. We've got this fool card that we can use to teleport out of our cursed room. But I think I'd rather... Uh, no, you know what? Uh, we'll probably come across another teleport card at some point. Like, I think it's silly to hold that until boss rush because, like, realistically, we'll probably come across another teleport card. And we're... It's very, very likely that we'll be able to do boss rush considering our first floor was an XL floor. And Azazel tends to be a fairly fast character anyway just because of... You know, good damage and the ability to fly. That one hurt a little bit. That was an unfortunate bit of damage, but okay. These guys are real annoying. This room, actually, is real annoying. Stay away from that. There we go. All right, let's fight the boss. It's very likely we'll have a deal after this, although this dude, the stain as a Zazel is just horrible. He's so annoying. Yep. Just gotta avoid... Like, you just can't get in close. So you just gotta kind of, like, focus on dodging. And then get hit anyway, because... Of, oh, well, that, that solves the mystery of what our uh, Zodiac thing was on this floor. We did not get a deal. We did get a speed upgrade and a tears upgrade, though. And we're still looking for our item room on this floor. So let's see. 
Oh, actually, uh, the Halo is also a range upgrade, which is actually really good. <laughs> As a Zazel, anyway. Small rock. Okay. So that's a damage up. A little bit of a speed down, but thanks to the Halo, like, we didn't really... We're basically back to where we were on speed. Maybe even a little bit better. And the damage upgrade is real nice. Okay, there we go. Still looking for that item room, though. It's just, like, nowhere to be found. Don't get hit by this guy. Yeah, there we go. There it is, finally. Okay, what do we got? Contagion. Okay. Uh, we don't want that trinket, I don't think. Because I would like to get a spacebar item. Uh, you know what? We can fly. Hit the button. See what we get. Okay. So that was actually worth it. We should go into the shop. For sure. We've got money. We've got a key. We should check it out and see. Hey, that accidentally rhymed. Very cool. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Yes, absolutely. And with batteries all over the place, we'll see what we get. Sure, Locust of Pestilence, probably the best of those trinkets. But this gives us a good opportunity to get a really good trinket. And as a Zazel, there's a couple of them that are awesome. Like, I would love to get Tapeworm. That would be super, super good. Uh, Death? Yeah, probably Death over... I don't know, like, that's real close. Pestilence or death? Mm, I don't know. Kind of one of this, you know, what, what's the saying? Like, half a dozen of this, six of this, half a dozen of the other, or something like that? I don't remember exactly, but either way. At least we can see our HP now. Take a little bit of damage there, but that's fine. And obviously we have Gemini as our Zodiac item on this floor. Since he's running around. Ooh, there we go. Now we're talking. Curved Horn is lovely. That's a huge damage upgrade. Let's see what you are. Blank Rune? Okay. Uh. Oh, no, that's Wiggle Worm. That's not Tape Worm. I was like, this is the other ultimate trinket. But it's it's not the other ultimate trinket. So, honestly, what I'd really... Oh, please. What I'd really love here would be the ability to hold two trinkets. That would be hugely beneficial. Sure. We'll check it. Uh, that one was right in our face. Okay. More keys. Don't get hit. Stay away. We're, we're fine. We're fine. This is all part of the plan, right? Okay. Also, a tears upgrade? Just like a single tears upgrade would be so useful. Uh, why did you self? You gotta be better than that. Like, we're just throwing away HP left and right. <laughs> ah, it hurts me deep in my soul. <clears throat> and the run is amazing. Like, thanks to Curved Horn... Okay, to be fair, that one I couldn't really see because Gemini was in the way, but still. I hate this room, especially as Azazel. Yeah, come charging over here so I can properly kill you. Okay, where's this other dude at? I see him. Okay, you're dead. I know there's another one. Where, oh, there he is. There we go. We made it. Give me the key. Okay. We made that as well. Check this. What do we got? Ooh, Serpent's Kiss is real good. That's a great item. That will hopefully result in us getting some spirit hearts that we wouldn't have otherwise gotten. Or some uh, demon hearts, I should say. Uh, this is probably a second secret room. 
And it's just red hearts. So let's fight our boss. Boss is Gertie. Which is not exactly the ideal enemy for us. But our damage is good enough that we can still make it through without worrying too much. Uh, obviously, we want the pentagram. And then we'll see what we got here. Okay. Well. You know what? Let's try this. Let's try... Oh, that was not a good plan. Okay, well, hopefully that doesn't just, like, wreck our damage. It doesn't appear like it did. Because that item is normally not real good, because it, it you end up doing, like, a third of your regular damage. But it doesn't appear like that actually ended up happening. So we'll take the key piece. Sure. All right, down we go. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're way ahead of schedule. We're doing great for time. Don't get hit by that. Or that. There we go. Still waiting for those demon hearts from Serpent's Kiss to start showing up, though. It would be great if those would start showing up sooner rather than later. Okay, that was easy enough. What are you? Spider baby? Okay, I can live with that. And I think Curved Horn is certainly better than... Uh, the paperclip. Although I do like the paperclip. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a pretty solid trinket. But Spider Baby. Or, uh, Curve Torn is just, like, obviously better. Okay, well, that was basically one bomb for three bombs. I mean, that's a worthwhile trade. Thank you, Ability to Fly, for making that not annoying. Ah, there goes our deal chance. That's all right. We were unlikely to get a deal on this floor anyway. And I guess we check here for a secret room? And it's not there. Can't be there. Can't be here. Here? Yeah, that's a weird spot for it. And of course, it's just boring red hearts again. Ah, uh, okay. What's our other card? Hanged Man, which is just uh, hilarious. Like, okay. That was a ridiculously easy boss fight. Ooh, Magic Mush is great. And we have two one-heart deal with the devil items. Sure. Uh, okay. I guess that's... That, it could be worse. That's a guppy item. At least. Headless Baby is not... Great? It's not horrendous. At least it wasn't like Plan C or something like that. But Magic Mush, I mean, we have 21 damage, so, like, life is pretty good. What? What am Oh, I must have uh, Leo from... I see. Okay, I'm going to put a bomb right here. That's what I was hoping for, is just a spirit heart. Don't... I, I don't know if running over the TNT barrels causes them to explode or not, but I don't particularly want to find out, so... <laughs> We're just going to roll with it. All right, self-sacrifice room. If we could get our hands on a teleport card, that would be great. Or just some more hearts would also be pretty solid. Uh, that's right, we have Stompy. We don't need to use bombs to blow up Tinted Rocks. Because we have Leo at the moment. Even though we don't normally have it, we just have it for today. Okay, pop up. There we go. We made it. None of that's that good. What have we got in here? Um, okay. I guess it's something. I would love to scrounge up a couple more cents. Actually, let's just blow this up. That might give us our two cents. It did not. I was going to say, I would love to just scrounge up. A, or a teleport card. Scrounging up a teleport card would also be very, very good. So let's see, we got Strength, Ace of Spades. So let's roll a Strength and the Blank Rune. Okay. There we go. Trying to take out the flames here before we do much else. And I don't want to step on 
all of these. Ooh, okay, so we take Crack Crown. Crack Crown is better. Even from a damage perspective. That's actually really surprising to me. That hurt. Luck upgrades are great, of course. Um, and at this point, like, this is an awesome item, but it's kind of one of those, like, too little, too late sort of things. Like, what are we going to do with it at this point? So tell you what, let's just donate here until we get up to, like, 950. Eh, it's kind of, it's actually, oh, okay, donation machine is jammed. Fine. So we're going to break all of these. We'll get a black heart back. And then we got an ace of hearts and an ace of clubs. Well. I guess we roll with this. And we got all the time in the world, so like we can keep looking for a teleport card without too much trouble. Dim bulb is great, but unless we get the ability to hold multiple items here. What uh, what are we on? Neck two? Yeah. Unless we get the ability to hold multiple trinkets, then, you know, I, I think Crack Crown is, like, the obvious choice. It's a damage up, a hu apparently a huge damage up in comparison to um, Magic Mushroom, which is kind of surprising, but maybe not. I, I mean, they work a little differently, so maybe it's not that surprising. We do want to blow that up. What do we got? Bomb bag? Okay. Still looking for that teleport card. I don't think we're gonna find it. So tell you what, let's just go. And we'll look at boss rush and see what's in there. And if there's something in there that's really good, you know, we'll consider it, but it's gonna have to be something amazing. And none of this is it. Like Parasitoid is great. The D4 is, is great in its own right, but neither one of them are good enough to justify boss rush. I think. Because I don't know if Parasitoid actually even works with uh, Brimstone. And then on top of that, like, the D4, yeah, we can just reroll the run forever, but, like, I don't think that's necessary. I think the run is, like, good enough on its own merits, if that makes sense. Okay. There we go. I don't know why we're re-rolling for trinkets at this point. We should we should just like not even bother. Because honestly, like, we're not getting rid of Crack Crown. There's nothing that would be better. So uh I will swap. Actually, no, let's go strength black rune. Because then it allows us to take an extra deal in the event that we get one, like right here, for example. Wow. Wrecked. And Death's List. I like Death's List. We're going to take it. Down we go. So we're flying through this run. I don't think Hush is really a possibility right now. Not unless we come across a lot of extra HP. Because A, Hush as uh, Azazel is just like a nightmare to begin with. Because you got because range. This, this would have been a great Death's List room. And I fouled it up. But that's okay. What we're hoping from for Death's List, I, I genuinely don't know. I think mostly we're looking for, like, maybe tiers upgrades. Something like that. Help me break the tier cap. Get a faster rate of fire. But our rate of fire isn't even that bad, thanks to Crack Crowns. So, like, I don't know. I don't know what we'd actually even be looking for. I mean, we can always use more damage or... Or range, honestly. Just like a just a straight up range upgrade wouldn't be a bad thing per se. Yeah, I think we'll give this a try. Maybe we'll get something real good out of here. I mean we can kill these enemies fast enough. Blood bag's great. That was worth it. Would have loved for contagion to hit right there. Yeah, that was bad positioning on my part. There we go. Still. That was worth it for Blood Bag. Wow. That room could have been horrible. But, we get a whole bunch of consumables. Most of which I 
I got pushed into it by the battery. Okay, fine. There we go. So our HP is still in kind of a scary situation, honestly. Like, and it's going to be hard with uh, Gemini and with Contagion to make Deathless work for us on quite a few of these rooms. Addicted is, you know, kind of whatever. This would be a great Deathless room. And look at that. It gave us a spirit heart. Thank you, Deathless. What have we got in here? Something that's getting blown up. Okay. Not a bad trinket. Uh... There we go. What are you? Luck upgrade. Okay. Wow, our luck is absurd. We must get a luck upgrade from Crack Crown because we got a luck upgrade from Luckfoot. So actually, we will probably get a ton of items in the chest, which is awesome for us. Like, I'm, I'm super happy with that. And we got a couple of, like, other luck upgrades anyway from pennies and from Lucky Pennies and stuff, so... But still, like, our luck is just super good. Ah, that one hurt. And it actually puts us in a real bad spot, because now it's not necessarily guaranteed that we're going to be able to take a deal, unless we come across some spirit hearts or something here. Wow! Oh, I was going to say, how did I dodge that? But I, I didn't. <laughs> well, this is starting to look a little scary. Like, if I don't get some HP here pretty soon, don't get hit. Not by these guys. It'd be a terrible room to die in. Ah, uh, come on. Hook me up with some HP. You know what? I'm actually going to go back. And I'm going to grab one of these red hearts. Because we are one hit from death right now. Don't go running into a red poop. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll roll this one. Because then we get uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility. Or we get Polaroid invincibility if I get hit. It gives me like a, a little brief window. Where I can still make it, possibly. You know, like right there, for example. I'm not backtracking again. We'll just go for it. And if we die, we die. Uh, Tinted Rock. Thank you for the Spirit Heart. Uh, Check here for a secret room. Spirit Hearts, please. Well, it's not Spirit Hearts, but... It is a fair amount of red hearts. And, like, the pinking shears is good, but not, like, because if, if I take the pinking... Well, actually, it doesn't kill our stats that badly. You know what? Yeah, let's roll the pinking shears just for it lives. Because it's going to allow us to do quite a lot of passive damage here. And make it through that fight without too much trouble. Ooh, okay. So this makes me gr very, very glad we took the strength room. So we're going to take Little Bring. We're going to pop that. And then we'll take Abaddon. And now our HP is, like, golden. I am going to go back for Mom's box of trinkets. Because now we have 30 damage. But I'm not going to fight Hush, because Azazel Hush is just a nightmare, and, like, the run is good, but I just... The the d massive damage potential that we have here just, like, gets completely crapped on by Hush. Because he's like, oh, I have boss armor. All your attacks do, like, nothing. So... <laughs> Despite the fact that our damage is obscenely good, it's, it puts us in a position where it's like, okay, your damage is good, but guess what? It doesn't matter. Also, where are the Serpent's Kiss Hearts? Do you only get them when you run into stuff? Like, let's run into these guys. Yeah, look at that. He dropped the black heart for us. And actually, with Polaroid Invincibility, like, we could put... And, and with seven luck, 
Like, we could probably run into some of these enemies and get more black hearts on the ground from doing it that way than we would get otherwise. But our HP is looking good, thanks to Death's List and all this other stuff. Abaddon was a huge, huge help. Like that, Abaddon probably won us the run. Not because it's like an incredible damage upgrade or anything like that, but just because the, the HP boost could not have come at a better time. So, good timing on Abaddon for us. Try going this way. Come here, you. Another unknown pill. It's a health up. Okay. I actually don't want that. So I'm going to try to avoid taking red hearts, but it's fairly unlikely. There we go. Uh, do you check the cursed room? I think the answer is like, maybe? Dude, this is a horrible room. Okay, what do we got in here? Another rune, it's an Elges. I'll take the damage and hold on to the Elges. I mean, I do like the left hand, but at this point, too little too late. Unless we're going to take it down to the chest with us and hope for like the world's luckiest guppy payout, and that's just not likely. Uh, I also don't want the health up. All right, let's go fight Isaac. Okay, tell you what. Thank you for the black heart. There we go. That was fairly easy. Down we go. Flying through it. Curse of the unknown. Okay, Let's see what we got here. So, wait, we have a five rate of fire? Why do we have a five rate of fire? It's gotta be Capricorn or something. I mean, I think if we're gonna have a five, I'll tell you what, before I say no to, no, we've definitely got a five rate of fire. And our range is much higher. I think we got Capricorn as our final item here. So we're gonna void all that. <clears throat> Whoa, actually my damage is Libra. We got Libra. I think. Because that explains why my damage is suddenly, like, not good. Which is real unfortunate. But, okay. I think we can still make this work. Like, the run is still good enough. What happens if I drop Crack Crown? Stats are still pretty bad. Like, much, like even worse. I guess we'll find out, like if I find a small stat upgrade, I guess we'll find out if we have Libra or not, because it'll be in all stats. Like if we can, if we can find like, I don't know, a speed upgrade or something. Ah, that was unfortunate. And I also dislike the fact that I can't see my HP, but. I think we're fine. And I just picked up, I think maybe a half red heart? Maybe a full heart. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't want that. It's a bad item. I will take that, though. I mean, 12 damage with Brimstone isn't that bad. Like, it's still working out for us. That's not good. Definitely don't want kidney stone. Keep going. Keep your troll bombs away from me, please. What do we got in the secret room? Nothing I want. Second secret room. Guppy's paw. Okay. I'll convert my red heart. So now all we have is spirit hearts again. So that's good. Ah, uh, it's a little scary. There we 
we go. I mean, our rate of fire is, like, absurd, but everything else, not so much. There we go. More bombs. Yeah, we must have gotten Libra, because we've got, like, 46 range. Crap damage. <laughs> An amazing rate of fire. Like, it has to have been Libra. It's the only thing that makes sense. Crystal ball. We'll pop it once. Show us the map. Wheel of Fortune. That's an item. Okay. So it looks like we gotta go this way. Try to focus on Little Horn first. So we can... Maybe get... Oh, there we go. Death's List. So it's not... It wasn't Libra, though, because that should have been, like, a whole bunch of different stats. Unless Libra... Sure. I don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> Probably not, because it hurts your range, like overall, but then again. At this point, does it really matter? Oh, we have host hat as well, so we don't need to worry about getting exploded by those guys. Come on. Anytime. There we go. All right. Now we get to fight Blue Baby, and this is going to be a much longer fight, I think, than our Isaac fight. We did poison him, I think. Why? What's shooting Trisageon tears or whatever? Is that just Tiny Planet? Or do I have a familiar that's doing it? I'm not sure. Almost got him, though. There we go. He's dead. Before I, I almost totally forgot to show this. NR1L. RZJ6. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.